Welcome to another video from Ski Boat Parts Online.com, where our passion is keeping older ski boats on the water. We produce these videos to help you, our customer. All right, today we're going to take a look at uh, how to measure for a replacement ski boat prop shaft. Uh, the first thing you want to do is call or email and request a copy of our ordering sheet. This is going to give you the step by step one, two, three, four things that you need to know in order for us to get you the correct prop shaft. So I want to go through these steps one at a time to show you how it's, this can be done. Uh, the first thing on the list is we need the diameter of this shaft. Now if you have a dial caliper that's great. You can measure it. That's the easy way. Uh, but if you don't have a dial caliper, there's an alternate way you can do it. Everyone has a tape measure and some kind of an adjustable wrench. You simply take the adjustable wrench over your prop shaft, close the jaws until it's a nice snug fit but still moves, take it out, and then measure with your tape measure. The If I can get this tape out, there we go. Just measure and we'll show you that a one inch and I'll also show you what it looks like for an inch and an eighth. Uh, so that's two ways of measuring the diameter. So that's step one, the diameter of the prop shaft. Okay, step number two is about the coupling and the coupling diameter. So we're going to slide this back a little bit and we're going to take a tape measure and we're going to measure this diameter, the outer diameter of the shaft coupling. This is a four inch. Uh, if your shaft is gone, stolen, missing or whatever, you can do the same thing with the transmission coupling. This is four inch. You're going to find in our sheet that we have three different sizes listed. A three and a half, which is typically found only on the Walters V-Drive gears. Uh, that's a smaller coupling. Uh, four inch is going to be your standard coupling for virtually all of the older direct drive ski boats, kind of set up the way this is set up. And then you're going to find some five inchers on uh, a few of the uh, older power slots and some of the newer V drives. The heavier shafts are going to use a five inch. So you have a three and a half, a four, or a five. We need to know that diameter uh, of that coupling. That's step number two. Okay, step number three is going to be the coupling type. Once you have that flange diameter, the next is the type. This is a standard conventional type coupling. Some of the V drives have a reverse coupling and on our sheet we have a picture of the two different configurations. I'm only showing the standard conventional uh, configuration coupling here, but on a reverse coupling, which is only going to be found on the newer V drives where the shaft goes through the transmission and comes out the front end of the transmission. When it comes out on the front end of the transmission, the shaft uh, comes through and you actually see a nut and this flange is reversed. Uh, but look at the picture on the uh, on the sheet and it'll explain the difference between a standard coupling and a reverse or an inverted coupling. Now the length of the shaft is the next step that we're going to uh, accomplish and the key to this is the gap between the propeller and the strut. Uh, and this is why we ask you sometimes to measure the shaft length without the shaft at all, just measuring the boat. And I'm going to show you how that's done because quite often we find uh, if a caller calls in and says, well, I've removed my shaft, I've measured my shaft, and I want one just like that, come to find out that that was not the correct shaft to begin with. So the goal is to have a three-quarter inch gap between the end of your strut and the back of the propeller. The three-quarter is the goal. Uh, in my book, one inch is maximum, half inch is minimum. Three-quarter is the sweet spot. So that's our goal, is to have a three-quarter inch gap right here. Okay, something we're going to uh, come up to in a few minutes, I want to just show you real quick. Uh, a key number with our three-quarter inch gap right here, the distance from the strut to the end of the shaft is four and three-quarter inches for a typical ski boat uh, prop, uh, either a one inch shaft or inch and an eighth. And I'll show you a close up of this dimension here in just a second. But that number is going to come to, into play here in just a few minutes. Now to remove the coupling, uh, you have a couple different choices. 
on a conventional direct drive inboard like this setup is you can put a spacer or a socket between the coupling halves get some longer bolts and compress that off that's the old school uh, cheap way to do it and it works just as well you can buy our coupling removal tool which is pre-drilled for all three of the coupling uh, sizes that are out there this simply bolts on and the push bolt will push the coupling off now on the ARE shaft system that we sell uh, they are the only ones I know of that have a coupling with an internal thread that uh, you can use a very simple puller nut that they provide we have them available to remove this coupling I'm going to show you how that works you simply take a inch and a sixteenth their nut now some of these couplings use an inch and an eighth some use inch and a sixteenth um, I think those are the two common ones that I've found so an inch and a sixteenth socket is going to loosen the nut now we ship these shafts in what's called a loose fit so you can take your fingers and just run this off like I just did uh, and the, the coupling usually pops right off so this is the nut that's found on an ARE it is a large flange nut it is every coupling manufacturer has a little different system that they use some use a nylon uh, insert nut some use this there's, there's a variety of things out there keeping these double taper shafts uh, couplings in place on the ARE what locks this nut in place and keeps it from loosening up is a set screw there's a set screw that's driven in from the side that locks against the uh, uh, one of the, the flats on the nut so a new shaft comes with these pieces all loose so you can uh, assemble it quick so now that we have the nut off we're going to use the ARE shaft coupling puller and normally you're going to use a wrench but since this is shipped loose it just popped off finger tight pull this back off and inside of here are threads uh, that this nut goes in and it simply compresses and pushes the shaft back so our coupling is off we're going to take our keyway and set it off to the side and then I'm going to go ahead and remove this shaft I'm going to reassemble it loose next we're going to show you how you measure an existing shaft okay to measure your uh, prop shaft length uh, by using your old shaft you need to install the coupling it doesn't need to be on there tight just has to be on there if it's the older uh, straight cut shaft without a taper you'll still need to have that coupling on there uh, so that we're in position where it was and you're simply going to take a tape measure hook your tape on the machined surface face of the coupling and stretch it to the other end now what we're looking for is the length at the end of the threads and we round it to the nearest uh, uh, eighth of an inch quarter inch is probably preferred we're at 47 and three quarters of an inch at the end of the threads on this shaft so that's method number one measuring the existing shaft uh, then we're going to show you how we do it uh, in the boat if you don't have the shaft or if the shaft is broken or the chunk is broken off the end uh, that'll come up next the preferred method of measuring for replacement shaft length is uh, not measuring the old shaft at all it's measuring the boat making sure you get the correct shaft that should be in there so to do that with your old shaft removed you're gonna and this is gonna require two sets of hands because I, I, I've never been able to do it by myself uh, you're gonna take a tape measure underneath the boat send it through the strut and guys if you have a large three-quarter or one inch tape it's not going to fit through here you're going to need a smaller tape measure you're going to send it through the imaginary shaft log which is right about here uh, in the stuffing box and you're going to send it to it till it hits the mating surface or the machine surface of the transmission coupling you're going to need a set of hands a person to hold it at that end and you're going to read the tape measure 
at this end at the end of the strut. So I'm reading 43 inches from the transmission face to the end of the strut. 43 inches. So I'm going to take and I'm going to write that number down. That's 43.0. And if you remember a minute ago, we measured that distance from the strut to the end of the prop, and that number was 4 and 3 quarters. So now we're going to take and we're going to add 4 and 3 quarters or 4.750 to our number and now we get 47 and 3 quarter shaft length. That's the same as the first time when we measured the shaft 47 and 3 quarters but this is the preferred method. Send the, that tape through. Now if you have the uh, pass-through transmission, the V-drive pass-through where the shaft goes through the transmission and comes out the front end, it's the same theory. You send that tape measure clear through the transmission and you hook it, which would be kind of like this, you would hook it on the front, if this was the transmission face, you would hook it on that machined face of the coupling of the transmission, all the way back to here then we add our four and three quarter inches. All right, so we're almost done. We have our shaft measured. All of our fill in the blanks are done on our ordering sheet. But uh, anytime I have a shaft out of a ski boat, uh, if that boat has more than two or three hundred hours uh, on it since the bearings were replaced, I'm going to replace these bearings just because the shaft is out and it's an opportunity to do so. Uh, if you wait to the normal five, six, seven hundred hours and say, okay, I, my bearings are, are worn, I need to replace them, you have to remove the shaft in order to do that. So since our shaft is already out for some reason or another, let's change these bearings. So the next call or common call that I get is, how do I measure what strut bearings are inside of this? Uh, it's not difficult. I'm going to show you how we do it. First number you're going to need is the ID, the inside diameter, which is going to be the same as your shaft ID, or shaft diameter, I should say. Uh, so I showed you how to measure the shaft diameter. Uh, you can use your, your, your adjustable wrench. So if we have a one inch diameter shaft, you're going to have one inch ID strut bearings. The next diameter is a little more difficult, and that's the OD, the outside diameter of a strut bearing. So your strut bearings are inside of here and strut bearings are vulcanized rubber against a brass shell and that brass shell is pressed inside of here uh, so what you'll do is you're going to take a close look at either end of the strut whichever is easier to get to the, the front usually it's going to be the back side and you're going to hold a tape measure and you're going to see the difference between the brass uh, uh, the brass strut and the shell of the brass bearings and you're going to measure you're going to discern where that is and measure this and get that outside diameter I'm going to show you a, a close-up picture of what that looks like okay so on a one inch diameter uh, prop shaft the most common bearing is going to be a one inch ID and an inch and a quarter OD uh, on your inch and an eighth diameter shafts you're going to have choice of inch and three eighths OD or inch and one half OD those are the two common sizes on the uh, the inch and an eighth uh, most all of our bearings are going to be two inches long the one goes in the front one goes in the back some of the crack crafts have uh, three inch bearings we have those as well so uh, there you go for today how to uh, measure your prop shaft uh, to get the correct one and how to measure your strut bearings i hope you enjoyed this video you know what to do hit the uh, subscribe button if you like our videos uh, and send a request if you've got something uh, that uh, needs maintenance on your ski boat you're unsure how to do it uh, send in a request and we'll see if we can accommodate you so thank you and god bless Thanks for watching this video from SkiBoatPartsOnline.com. My name is Ron and we appreciate you watching our videos. If you like these, hit the like button. And if you want to see more of them, hit the subscribe button. Thank you and have a great week boating.